Alright y'all, happy Monday. I know a lot of you guys are wondering who won the Turbo Ranger giveaway that will be released in tomorrow's video. So do not forget to check in tomorrow's video to see if you won the Turbo LS Swap Ranger. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and have a great Monday. Alright y'all, we kind of got like a little shop update video deal. What we got going on here. We got the Black Sheep back in the shop. We got to make some plug wires, but honestly we haven't pulled the front end off of it. Um, it's been a, a pretty busy day. We've been, I've been running around, uh, Chris has been here, we got some work done, Brett stopped by, Ben and Logan have been working in the back, we got, Lo Logan's our new, he's the assistant to shop manager, so he is like the Dwight Schrute of Ellis Nasty, uh, but we're back here, Ben is making killer progress on Chris's vet, well look at this, it's got TRZ Outlaw front end on there, strange coilovers, strange brakes, uh, we got some force inductions turbos, a badass radiator, alky diggers, what is this called surge tank we uh btr intake it's the black sheep bottom end this is like a, a black sheep i'd say this is like the mid-range black sheep package so kevin and the guys at tcam are coming out with some online motor packages whether you want to get like a short block or long block you can do it like all online and order it and you can see right in front of you you can compare each one so they'll have like three or four different breakdowns of engines that are set up for different horsepowers and have different price ranges you can go through and pick the one that's perfect for your build your car uh everything from stock blocks to aftermarket blocks uh to you know a stock crank to billet crank to steel rods h-beam i-beam or aluminum rods they got it all so they're gonna have a, a real nice breakdown and we're we ls nasty are working with them trying to get everything all figured out uh, some little things we're doing to it right now is it was it had a leaky transmission, overfilled the transmission, wasn't happy. So we're putting a new pan gasket on there and it had a leaky wheel, wheel cylinder. So we're replacing that as well. We got BJ here working. That's the first. This is how much We got Ebony and Ivory performance right here. Just killing it. We have the king right there. Ain't no black we got to go pick up the twin turbo Mustang. The CTSV is fixed. As you can see, the front end looks good. The twin turbo Mustang. Oh, I was just saying your front end looks good, Bo. Yeah, I had to get details that someone trashed it. <laughs> wow. Wow, that hurts. You know, I was going to go pick up your Mustang with your truck and your trailer, but I'm not going to now. I think you are. <laughs> so we're getting everything knocked out here. The Ford Vet is ready to go to the track. Uh, I got an elbow coming in for the Colorado, the SSR got all the parts in, so that's getting finished up, and just kind of, oh, I uh, got the pumps and the hat in for the cow to get that back up and going, so we've been just been plugging away here, I'm super excited with the progress, and everyone at the shop is just busting ass, so you guys know we use projects at the shop, uh, we have one set of projects right now, and they're very useful, and I can't focus right now, because Alora's here, let's ask Alora what she thinks about her her new race car. What's up? What's up? Are you excited to drive the new car? Yeah. What? Are you, I don't have a name for it. What do you think we should name it? Uh, hear me out. Eddie Murphy, which is a little bit uglier, you know, the other Mustang we call Eddie Murphy. Why don't we call that one Charlie Murphy? Oh, what, who is Charlie Murphy? That's Eddie Murphy's brother. He has a brother? Yes, he has a... Oh, come on now. Come on now, he has a brother. Hey, new name for the new car. Charlie Murphy. Yeah, Eddie Murphy and Charlie Murphy. Does that work? I work. Ben. New name, Charlie Murphy. I, I think that's kind of creative. It's not that creative. It has to have its own identity. You can't just go off of another car's identity. <laughs> Alright, Chris, come here. I got we gotta talk to you. You are, I'd say, you're a big fan of Milwaukee tools. Right. So I was talking about the projects. We use our Projects and our race car stuff. We have one set right now. They're super super helpful for race cars. I feel like race cars don't really go up on like a four post lift or a two post lift often. At the track, in between every round, when we first get there, put up on Projects, run through the gears, you can check stuff underneath it. Uh, pretty much this car stays on Projects. In order to run Projects, they are, what are they? It's, uh, it's air on hydraulic, right? Air on hydraulic. So it's a hydraulic cylinder and you have to have air to pump it. Now obviously when you go to the racetrack, our stacker trailer has an air compressor in there, runs off the generator in the toter home, and that works great. We didn't use the Projax last night because we took a smaller trailer and we didn't have an air compressor. So you'd have to run the generator, which we're using to run the battery charger and fans and everything. We'd have to then run an air compressor. It's a lot of load. So Milwaukee has this badass little air compressor. And I don't know, do you know anything about I don't know anything about it. Well, 
I know it runs off of a battery. That is the cool thing. And it will house a new Big Daddy. So that, is, that is a massive. HD. I had a couple people come up to me at the track last night asking if this would work the Projax, and I said, honestly, I didn't even think about it, or we didn't try it, we're so we're about to find out. So I'm going to plug the Projax and everything up. i got to hook them up, stick them under the rear end. The front one's there. I just got to hook it up, and we'll see. I'm Listen how quiet that is. So it, it, it fills it up pretty quick, doesn't it? It does from what it is, yes. Now, they do take a lot of air. And my concern is that this tank will just run low, like super fast. But depending on how this works, I mean, this could be a game changer here for for people that are like yeah, that are like, like open tra open trailer or either uh, you know small trailer and not. A lot of guys at the racetrack to check tire pressure. You'll see they have the little drill. It looks like a drill with the air ho hose on it right. that works for like good fine adjustments. But if you ever need like actual air, this, like yeah. hook an air tool up to it. This so, would uh, it was work. I mean, I, think, I mean, a lot of times, I mean, most of the time we're at the track. The only reason you have a generator out there is to run those type of air compressor, battery charger, everything yeah. like that. So, I do know that I got one coming this week. Milwaukee also has an inverter, so you plug in one of these batteries and it converts over to 120 volts. So you can. So you can run a battery charger for your. Car. See, you can run a battery charger off of a battery, off pack. battery pack. So essentially, you could go to the track. Technically speaking, all cordless. all cordless, no generator. And that's what I, I like to try to do. That I'm trying to get Milwaukee on board with us. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna test this out. We're and all about the M's. Yes, Monster Energy. We got Monster Energy behind us. Milwaukee Motion Raceworks. I'm a little intimidated though because I don't know what size air compressor we have in the stacker. It's one and a half tank size of that. Of that, so just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. And. It drains the tank down like first hit. You'll hit it a couple, like maybe four seconds. It'll have be full steam, and then it will run out, and then you'll be just you'll literally be going off of what the actual compressor can do, not what the tank can. So I'm gonna get oh, this. this on you. Yeah, we got the vacuum. I was vacuuming the valve covers with that. We have the uh, electric blower as well, yeah. and I like their uh, their M18, their fuel stuff, the impacts. We use their their one inch drive, or sorry, the one inch, the half inch drive. They do make a one inch impact yeah, but we use their half inch impact all the time and i mean it works well so let me get this all plugged up we'll plug the pro, pro jacks up and then we will we'll give it a shot all right we got the pro jacks all hooked up we got the one on the rear obviously under the rear end got it hooked up as you can see it's a pretty simple system it's just a pump and there's the air hose just to show we're not frauds here it's going all the way over to the milwaukee air compressor I ran it up and down uh, a couple times, maybe picking the car up, what, like three or four inches just to make sure the pro jacks were, yeah. were centered and lined up. Uh, and then once it starts going up, when you see it, just start stepping on this because the yeah. pro jacks are kind of funny. They like to walk around a little bit and slide. So I'm going to hand the camera to the beautiful Laura here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
cat been impatient over here. If you had, you know, if you had more, like, Yeah, I do. Impatient. Yeah. He'll see this if he had this anyway. Oh, I know. Out the front's about there. <laughs> what is there? Yeah, you should go to get front. I'm so, I'm so We know. Just wait for the back comes up. Once the back comes up, we'll let that go all the way up. Alright, front's good. All the back's on the way up. Front's good enough. All that <laughs> you can hear it when it wants more. I don't you let it charge all the way up to the full. One time, do it. Yep. It's shipping better though. Yep. So it's still, still on the same yeah, thing we're starting at. Start at. So in theory, they can do it. And if you get like an external tank and just link it to a bigger tank, yeah. uh, it's just a volume issue. But. Put those batteries together. That. This right here, compared to the pump that we have in the, is, is not it, much it, different. It, it, it's also loud as hell. It's got no muffler. It's the damn cookout edition. Dude, it's it's so loud. All right, we're at 100 psi. That's a pretty good little clip right here. Race operation. Gorgeous. You have like 40 of those big ass batteries. Yeah, that was a little or is going and mind you like at the racetrack it's not that terrible because like we have the front end off and like we're doing stuff to it we got a vacuum so it's not like we can't do anything until we put it up it's a two and a half horsepower twin two gallon tank so it's a four gallon tank and what's this a two gallon tank that's two and a half that's a two or two and a half uh, yeah Alright, we're up. What's our time on there? We can't do that. Uh, six minutes and fifteen hey, you seconds. How many minutes? Six, six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes is not bad, but plus we'd be doing stuff to it anyway. Here's the exciting part. Everyone watching, we just drop this thing on its lid. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> You're on there. Yikes. I don't like that. I don't like that for him. He was so close. Well, I would say that's pretty badass. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's video. I thought this was kind of a cool video. I was actually pretty excited to do it because I like all the Milwaukee stuff and I use like everything, like their little portable air pumps, their little air compressor. I got a bunch of their tools and I think they're pretty sweet. So for any of you guys out there that are wondering, I put this air compressor in a video last week and I was, I was like blown away by how many people actually like messaged me. They're like, hey, what do you use that for? Or like, how good is it? Well, there's a perfect example. Those projects are a beast. They take a lot to work. So just being able to get them to go up and down. I mean, I, I don't think five, six minutes is not bad at all. So the Milwaukee air pump, I give it like two thumbs up. I mean, I think it's pretty sweet. And really, I've never had any issue with any of their stuff. I use their vacuum cleaners. I was vacuuming the valve covers with, with their little portable vacuum cleaner. 
got their portable leaf blower, all their hand tools, they're pretty awesome. So, uh, shout out to the guys at Milwaukee for making just some badass stuff. And thank you guys for checking out today's video. Don't forget, tomorrow's video will have the winner for the Turbo Ranger giveaway. So, get excited because that thing's pretty sweet. I just got it fixed up. I'm waiting on a wheel cylinder to come in and it is back 100%. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. We're going to see you guys in tomorrow's upload.